All right, picture this. You're outside after a rainy afternoon, you look up and bam, there's a beautiful rainbow stretching across the sky, like something straight out of a Disney movie. But have you ever stopped and thought, wait, why does it always have seven colors? Like, why not eight or three or, I don't know, one giant neon Skittles strip? Well, grab your raincoat and science goggles because this is about to get mind-blowing. First things first, rainbows aren't actually real. Okay, I mean, they're real, but you can't physically touch one. Rainbows are optical illusions caused by light bending through raindrops. Here's what happens. Sunlight, which looks white to us, is actually a mix of all colors of light combined. When this white light enters a raindrop, it slows down, bends, and spreads apart into different colors. Kind of like when you throw a bunch of Lego pieces on the floor and suddenly realize they were never meant to stay together. Each color bends at a slightly different angle because they have different wavelengths. The result? A perfectly organized rainbow of colors. And no, there isn't an actual end to a rainbow. It's a full circle. We only see part of it because the horizon gets in the way. But if you were high enough in the sky, like in an airplane, you could actually see a full circle rainbow. Here's an even crazier fact. Some animals, like bees, see ultraviolet light, meaning they see rainbows completely differently than we do. If a bee could describe a rainbow, it would probably be way more psychedelic than what we see. But why seven colors? Now, here's the weird part. Science never said rainbows have to have exactly seven colors. That was actually a human decision. Blame it on Sir Isaac Newton. Newton was the first person to seriously study light and rainbows. Originally, he saw five colors, red, yellow, green, blue, and violet. But then he thought, wait, music has seven notes, and seven is a cool mystical number. So let's add two more. Classic overachiever move. Boom! He squeezed in orange and indigo, and just like that, seven became the magic number for rainbows. But did Newton actually see those extra colors, or did he just force them into the spectrum to fit his seven-note music theory? We may never know. In fact, some cultures don't even recognize seven colors in the rainbow. Japanese tradition only acknowledges five colors, skipping indigo and orange altogether. Could a rainbow have more or fewer colors? Absolutely. In fact, rainbows have way more colors than we can see. Our eyes can only detect certain parts of the color spectrum, but there are infrared and ultraviolet colors hiding beyond the red and violet ends of the rainbow. If you were a mantis shrimp, which has way better vision than us, you'd see a super rainbow with a ridiculous number of colors. So technically, Newton's seven color system was just a human made rule. If he were alive today, he might have gone with eight, nine, or even 25 colors. Who knows? Why are the colors always in the same order? Every rainbow follows the same order because of the way light bends inside water droplets. The different wavelengths of light get sorted as they refract and reflect inside the raindrop. Roy G B I V is the magic order. Red, longest wavelength, bends the least. Orange, slightly shorter, bends a little more. Yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Each bending more than the last with violet bending the most. This is why red is always on top and violet is at the bottom of a rainbow. Science is basically color-coded perfection. Ever wonder why some rainbows look more vivid than others? It depends on how much moisture and sunlight are in the air. A bright rainbow means there are lots of big water droplets reflecting light. Double rainbows. That happens when light bounces twice inside a raindrop before exiting. This causes a second, fainter rainbow above the first one, except the colors are reversed. Mind blown. If you're lucky, you might even see a triple or quadruple rainbow. They're rare, but they exist. What if rainbows were different colors? What if rainbows had only three colors, or 20? Would they still look magical? Imagine a world where rainbows were just shades of gray. Kind of depressing, right? The good news is nature already optimized rainbows for maximum beauty. If our eyes could see ultraviolet light, rainbows would look even crazier than they do now. But since we're just humans and not superhero shrimp, we get the classic seven color version. And here's a weird thought. What if every person actually sees colors differently, but we all just call them the same thing? What if my red looks like your blue, but because we've always called it red, we'll never know. Mind blown, again. Rainbows are one of those things we've all seen, but most of us never stop to ask why they look the way they do. The truth, they're just a trick of light, physics, and a little bit of human imagination. So next time you see a rainbow, impress your friends by dropping some of this knowledge, or just stare at it and appreciate how freaking cool nature is. Would rainbows still be cool if they had only three colors? What if they had 50? Let me know in the comments. Like this video. Subscribe to YX for more mind-blowing science. Turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. See you in the next video.